the default on Ubuntu is this uh, sound control here and uh, when you click on it uh, you have a lot of options here maybe way too many but uh, you can see they have a lot of stuff now if you don't like this one there's always another one that you can try um, this is how it looks like it has the same icon but you see there's a clear difference uh, sound preference now in here they have um, what they got here input output and sound effects uh, what I like about this one has the applications one uh, and the applications is um, whatever you you're, you have open like uh, your movie player or your rhythm box anything that has like an audio stream you can actually uh, control that um, with muting or the maximum volume of it you can limit it or lower it so you know it doesn't annoy you too much so that's what I like about this one this one is similar to the one I talked about last time is um, the, the pulse audio control but this one is uh, the gnome volume control pulse and uh, if you want this one it's in your synaptic and just search for uh, you know this one gnome volume control pulse and I uh, just get that one and next time you log in um, you have to log out log in and then you get the new uh, icon which is this one so if you don't like the old one no more just uh, right click on it and remove it right? remove and panel and that's pretty much it so uh, that's what that does and uh, I believe it's gonna be a default uh, soon on Ubuntu um, I know that they said that it uh, is a default on other distributions like uh, Mandriva I believe uh, other than that, I, I really dig uh, that program. I mean, I wish they had more options, um, but uh, as far as the applications, that is the one that's worth it. Uh, other than that, that's it.